Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk. I'm Kathy Mahajan from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, and my paper is titled On the Need for Thoughtful Data Collection for Multi-Party Dialogue, in which we present a survey of available corpora and collection methods for multi-party dialogue systems. In summary, we present a comprehensive survey of available corpora for multi-party dialogues based on over 300 publications, which we have also organized into a taxonomy based on the nature of the corpora. We discuss various methods of data collection used by these corpora and identify several lacunae in existing data collection approaches used to collect such dialogue. Based on this discussion, we identify some desiderata and some guiding principles for multi-party data collection to contribute further towards advancing this area of dialogue research. For our survey methodology, we started by identifying around 362 papers. We started by looking at Google Scholar and Semantic Scholar using keyword searches, and then considered all the papers that appeared in relevant conferences and journals, and then we traded towards the references and citations of these papers to include relevant articles which might have been missed by the keyword search. Then we took a screening step, at the end of which we had 343 papers. For this step, we focused on screening, screening papers, which focused on corpora for conversational systems, which had a text component, and focused on the English language, and lastly, which included multiple speakers in the majority of conversations. A lot of these papers were published in Elric and Sigdial, in addition to star seal venues. As stated earlier, we had multiple corpora, which we organized into a taxonomy based on their nature and then based on the genre of the corpora. So we had three main categories, one consisting of spoken unscripted, two consisting of spoken scripted, and three consisting of written corpora. Within these, there are several um, formal and informal corpora, corpora based on scripted shows and movies, and lastly, written corpora that are based on discussions on internet forums or social media. Let's start by looking at each of the corpora in more detail. For each, corpor for each corpus, we identified the topic that they were mainly talking about, the number of dialogues, the number of words, and the total length, along with the total speakers that are present in the corpus. We also looked at whether or not there were multimodal features associated with the corpus. And then lastly, we described some of the tasks in which these corpora have been used. Starting with spoken corpora and the unscripted formal subset of them, most past research, especially in multi-party dialogue systems, have focused on utilizing these corpora, especially for supporting meeting-related tasks, such as generating meeting minutes, summarizing action items and decisions, and more. For spoken corpora of the unscripted informal subset, we find that game playing data sets have been used the most for modeling dialogue. This could be due to the inherent structure of the dialogue, which leads to less ambiguity and the possibility of exploring negotiation tasks in a group-based setting. Next, there's spoken corpora of the scripted subset. These corpora have also proven to be especially useful for personality and emotion related research and multi party dialogue systems. Then there's written corpora, which is based mainly on the written form of communication, based on chat rooms, internet forums, and social media data. And even though this written form of communication has become very prevalent, especially in recent times, for multi-party dialogue, owing to um, the inherent structure and nature of these corpora, cleaning and annotating them is often resource intensive. 
and therefore they're a little bit difficult to clean and use. Lastly, we make some special mentions for a few corpora for which we had some limited information, not as detailed as the earlier ones, but these also contribute significantly to multi-party dialogue research. Some of them are based in decision-making for military environments. Some of them are based on the TV show Friends that has been annotated for personality and emotion. Some of them are based on lectures and meetings, and some of them have also contributed towards specific tasks in multi-party dialogue, such as question answering. For most of these corpora, we are able to classify them in three main categories of data collection methodologies. The first one of which is aggregated from various sources, where the corpus was formed by pulling information from various sources, such as newspapers, lectures, meetings, etc. any kind of data that was already available and was transcribed and put together into a larger corpus. They therefore incorporate multiple types of speech and topics range widely. And these have been great candidates in the past, especially for studying language semantics. The second main category is those transcribed from pre-recorded media, which can which come from either single or double sources uh, or double source origins and follow a central theme such as meeting data. They're often not collected within specialized environments, but are transcribed speech recorded in the wild in interviews from interviews and meetings or from online forums or social media. The last category is collected in specialized environments, which is mostly characteristic of multimodal corpora. They're collected in specialized environments with special equipment to collect modally synchronized data consisting of um, audio, which allows for annotations of speech activity and pauses, and video, which allows for annotations of head movement, gesture, and eye gaze tracking. Thus, from all our study of the corpora and the data collection methods they have used, we identified three main areas which require attention. The first is participant balance and tracking. For multimodal, for multi-party corpora, there need to be enough participants per conversation, ideally representative of the diversity of the group, and there need to be enough dialogues per participant to be able to model them. There also needs to be a balance of the participation interaction based on the context in which the conversation is based. Secondly, there is a need to pay attention to the signal to noise ratio, where there is the need to focus on quality along with quantity. And especially for multimodal data, there needs to be proper synchronization and annotations and a focus on reducing noise. Lastly, there are ethical considerations to be made to protect user privacy, especially personally identifiable information because for multimodal data, for example, when using audio and video, maintaining privacy becomes a, could be a problem. There is a need to make sure that all the labels of um, people, if they are changed, then they are updated throughout the data set. To conclude, we present a systematic review and taxonomy of available corpora for multi-party dialogue. And to the best of our knowledge, this is the first survey to focus on multi-party dialogue corpora. We review the data collection methods that have been employed to build these corpora and present some desiderata and guiding principles for future corpora collection methods. Thank you. Please scan the QR code if you want the link to the GitHub repository for the annotated bibliography of the more than 300 papers that we have looked at. Thank you so much.